Okay, we're gonna hit Lysel. Does this count as a creature entering the battlefield? Oh, it sure does. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Dear me. Oh, oh. Well, I've fallen right into your trap. Yeah, like you really unhot her dog. <laughs> Unhot her dog. Is that what the kids are saying now? <laughs> now. <laughs> After this, yes. <laughs> What's up? It's Shuffle Up and Play, and we've partnered up with Secret Partners in Commander. Today, each of us has a card in front of us that either has a question mark on it or the name of another person at this table. We are in teams of two, and so the goal is to eliminate the other people who are not on your team. But you might not know who is not on your team. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's, it yeah. makes sense, yeah. Okay, so you might turn over your card and you don't show it to anyone. Take a look. You either do not show it to anyone. You either have a question mark or a name of another person. If you have a name of another person, that is your partner, but they do not know you're their partner, nor does anyone else at the table know that they're your partner except the other person who has a name of the partner on there. You need to make it so that the two people who are not your partners are eliminated. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. Kill so, everybody. Right, so we are we are playing until there are two people left at the table and the goal is, is that you and your partner are those two people left at the table. If at the end, you and the other person left at the table are not partners, it's sudden death. <laughs> Does this make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. Keep so, your... Oh. Keep your partner alive. Keep your partner alive. Keep yourself alive. But they don't know you're, they don't know you're your partner or you don't know who your partner right. is. It's two-headed giant with an identity crisis. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> who may or may not be my partner this game? Ha. <sighs> Uh, hello. <laughs> it makes sense, right? It makes sense. It made sense it until you finished the explanation, sense. and then I was yeah. questioning. No, it it. Every time sense. you said it, I've gone fully <laughs> gray. Fully, fully <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't kill your partner. You may not know who your partner is if it's a question mark, but that you still have a partner. Your partner knows who you, you are. You have to try to figure out. Right, and don't Maybe say who your partner right. is because Ooh. you don't want the other people to know who your partner is because you need to keep your partner alive. <laughs> okay. Right, but my card just had writing on it. it didn't have anybody's picture, so how am I supposed to know? <laughs> well, gosh, I guess we should say who we are. Hello, I'm a girl named Ron. Everyone calls me Ron. My commander is Captain Sisse, and it is a super friends deck. It is all the Selesnia Ajanis and two Garricks, and it hopes to make tokens and add counters to things and give big punchies. Wait, it's it's super fr <laughs> it's super friends, but just Ajanis. Yes. Okay. And two Garricks. And two Garricks. Yeah. Just plain simple Garricks. <laughs> Would you Just say? beefy friend of a Johnny Garrick. Okay. <laughs> All right. And would you say it's a Johnny deck for sure? Yeah. Play style is Johnny. Yes. Yeah. The play style is, is <laughs> the things that a Johnny likes to do. It's not a Johnny. It's many Johnnies. It's yeah. Jo <laughs> many Johnnies. <laughs> What's up, guys? Ramp Gang, Mental Misplay. You know the vibe. My name is Alan. I typically stream EDH, CEDH, do all sorts of stuff, live coverage. And today I'm playing Saruman, M A N, Saruman of many colors. Uh, I'm trying to have lots of triggered stuff on my battlefield. I'm trying to disrupt other people's decks by playing their cards and there's like kind of like a secret commander in here as well. Hi everyone, I'm Maldhound. You can find me on TikTok and YouTube roasting your commanders, doing skits, and in general refusing to take this game seriously. Today I am playing Henzi Toolbox Tori, who allows me to blitz expensive creatures, giving them haste and sacrificing them, and in my deck you will find about 30 creatures that would make you say, wow, I'm really glad that doesn't have haste. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, do, don't you think it's fair that you roast your own Commander. I've actually I picked him because I did a roast. Oh, for him. I guess we should go subscribe to Maldhouse <laughs> YouTube. Oh my God! Yes. yes. Uh, I started out the roast 
angry, and I ended the row saying, "Okay, that looks kind of nice, though." <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it's, this. It's it's card draw. It's what has divorced me from my normal blue shenanigans. It's like I can touch that many cards and not have to play counter spells. <laughs> well, today I am playing Garth One Eye, and this is the wish granting deck. Every card, or almost every card in this deck, will grant one of the other players at this table a wish. But as always. Be careful what you wish for. Garth is also going to be granting me my wishes to go back to high school in the 90s where I played with cards like Shivan Dragon, Terror, Disenchant, uh, not, not Black Lotus. And no, it's not a real Black Lotus, or is it? <laughs> All right, shall we shuffle up and play? We know two of us know who their partner is. Two of us have no idea. Your goal is to make it so that you and your partner are the last two standing. Remember in Commander, first mulligan is free. Let's go. Mulligan, mulligan, mulligan again, again. I love just taking away all my bad cards and only playing with good cards. <laughs> I gotta say, London Mulligan's pretty sweet. Being able to ship, like, look at seven again and ship that last we one. We can't move the studio. And you keep, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wow, that's oh, wow. oh, oh, the And Alice, it's the command tower. And that's Alan's good. out, turn zero. Right. <laughs> whoever whoever Alan's partner was, you're on your own. <laughs> it's it's slidey. <laughs> I'm slidey. I can't help it. It's Saruman the hot dog holder. It's a greasy oh my deck. God. Two okay, different. please, one forest in a dream. That's all I need. <laughs> uh, that's actually too many forests in a dream. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. This is, <laughs> we're going it's with not it. like, this one's a keeper, but yeah. we're gonna do it. We're gonna. <laughs> <I'll> Urza. This, <laughs> this is a, a, as good as it gets, I think. <laughs> well, now I'm, now I'm in danger. I mean, couldn't it always be better? I feel like it could always be better, but it's fine. All right, I can definitely keep this. I think maybe possibly it's it's something. I can make this work. Green can make anything work. <laughs> oh. Shall we roll for high? All right. Three. Did I say high? I meant low. <laughs> hey, look also at that. Three. <laughs> I'm going to call it again. We're going to get that nine. Mm -hmm. Big nine. Nine. Big nine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That's the, the second time. It's <laughs> about 12. Whoa! Oh! Box cards. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> First to last. All right. <laughs> Am I good to just take it away? Uh, did you win the die roll? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, go! And don't forget to draw for first. Yes, I do actually always forget that. So I'm going to draw yes. for my turn. Oh, nice. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm going to play this Overgrown Tomb. I'm going to pay two life so that it wow. enters untapped. Shocking. Um, and then I'm going to tap it for a green to play the Ignoble Hierarch, who is just a dork for all of the fun Jund colors. And then I will pass the turn. All right. Wow. That's a good turn one. That's a, mm -hmm. spicy. Pretty good. Shocking. Get greened on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just putting a Triumph down tapped and passing the turn. All right. I will draw. I will play. A fortified village. I will reveal a plains from my hand so that it does not enter tapped. Play a birds of paradise. Everyone's it is French. Them. It's a oiseau de paradis. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Big draws. Let's go. Okay. All right. I like that. We're going to drop exotic orchard. And I believe we're on white black, and is that a blue? Is there blue in that trium? There is many things in this trium. There's actually three things in this <laughs> trium. There's some blue there, Let's there's some go. red, and there's some green. We got the Asper Orchard right off the jump, and I'll ship it from there. Okay, untap, I'll upkeep, I will draw. Oh, perfect, okay. I'm gonna play the Carplusian Forest, or Carplusian. I'm gonna tap it for a red going down to 17. Uh, I'm gonna tap this for a black and this for a green. And it is Henzy. Wow. Time. No. And then I'm gonna pass <laughs> the turn. The crime begins. Oh, nuts. So, what does Henzy do again? So Never mind. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, that's fun, that's fun, and we've only just begun. I'm gonna play a plateau and pass the turn. All right, I will untap. I will draw a card of the magic variety. I will play a forest this time. I'll tap two for an Ajani's comrade. If I control an Ajani planeswalker, I put a 1-1 counter on it. Ah, 
But what are the chances that you would control an Ajani Planeswalker? You know, it's there's... so... You'd have to go digging in the deck to find about them. 12 out of 100. <laughs> what are, are there that many Ajani's? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. There's another one that's red that obviously can't go in here, but I put all the other ones that can all right. in here. You're running so, all the legal ones yes. that you can? That's super funny. Yes. I'll pass. All right. Big draws. Let's go. Caves of Koilos and... Two talisman of hierarchy. And we'll ship it. I'll draw. Oh. My god. <laughs> I'm gonna play a mountain for turn. I'm going to tap a mountain, tap black, and tap green. I'm going to blitz in. Uh, Zyator's Envoy, who is a fun little lizard man. Uh, he has Trample. <laughs> when he bonks you, I get to check the top card of my deck, and if it's a land, it gets to go onto the field, or if it's a spell, if it costs less than the damage, I get to cast it. Since he has haste, since he's been blitzed, I am going to move to combat. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I need to ask you a question because we're partners. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to help out my partner. Oh, yes, Bestie. Go yes. Ahead and... uh, would you like to draw some cards as well? Because that doesn't do enough, I don't think. What? So would you like but to are you cards? secret partner? <laughs> yeah, so would you like to draw some cards as well? But I'm already drawing some cards. Well, would you like to draw some more cards? Some more cards. Oh, do you do you like drawing cards? I like, love drawing cards. Okay. I so, yeah, but then you'll have to discard down. And then, I you like know, drawing cards. Throwing, <laughs> throwing cards. Yeah, cards that's in a your problem. Graveyard. This deck can't do anything with the graveyard, so it would be a big problem yeah. for me. Yeah. So, so I think that I'm gonna tap a blue and another in response to that, and I'm gonna cast Arcane Denial on it, <laughs> uh, <laughs> countering its spell, but its controller may draw up to two cards at the beginning of the next. Next turn's upkeep. Now I will also get to draw a card, but only one, whereas you get to draw two, helping you out. So real of you. Yes. <laughs> uh, this will go into the graveyard, and then I will move to combat anyway, and I'm going to give Mental Misplay a little love tap with Henzi. Fair enough. For I three. will take three. Three. So the Blitz cost is an alternative casting cost? The blitz cost is an alternative cost. It costs one less for each time Henzi's been cast. Okay. So right now my blitzes are discounted by one. If you kill Henzi and I bring him back, they're discounted by two, then three, then so on and so forth. And Henzi gives them a- Henzi glib- Henzi, yes, you may read it. Henzi gives everything with four CMC or higher blitz. And so the deck is basically a bunch of, bunch of stuff that's CMC four plus that has a lot of colorless mana. And then he reduces them to being just like, hit my pips, smack you. Three commands. Do not like. It's super, <laughs> the clock. Would Voltron. not recommend. Uh, Zero out of ten. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Trigger. You may draw your two cards, partner Maltown. Oh, thank you so much, partner but, professor. Yes. You also don't have to. It's a may. It's a may. It's a may ability. <laughs> In the unhinged world. And amazingly, mine is not a may. I do draw a card no matter what. <laughs> so you don't have to draw that card. And then I'm going to draw for turn as well. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead is land, because it is land. And then I'm gonna tap three for a friend who's also a wish granter. And that friend is Oko, Thief oh. of Crowns. <laughs> Notoriously fair card, Oko. Notoriously <laughs> fair. Notoriously <laughs> cool and fair card. Absolutely. Henzi's pretty good. You can see how I might not feel like we're besties. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a 3-3? Three, three? I, I have a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> I'm, I'm all set I'm here. stocked up on 3-3s. Three, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plus one Oko to make oh, Henzi an elk. So cool. Ginger taxis. Elked. Ugh. Oh, elk on. <laughs> if only this deck could sacrifice things. <laughs> oh, I don't have an elk token. Um, that on. means it doesn't happen. <laughs> the, the good news is there's no... There. Blockers. I don't actually have an elk token. Might I borrow one of those infinite tokens from you, Ron? There we go. So I'm gonna just draw an Oko elk, and this is pretty much what an Oko elk looks like. Elk D, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's <laughs> elk O, not elk D. Elk -o. <laughs> oh, I thought it was I've been elked on. I, yeah, elk I, thought I thought it was, it was like elk. get elked, nerd. Yeah. There right. you go. There's Thank your 3-3 three, three elk. Thank you very much. Elko. Elka. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. <laughs> and and remember, Ron and Alan, if it seems like to your intuition that Maldhound is not my partner, it means that I must therefore be one of yours. So if you, either of you think I'm your partner, going after Oko is not something you'd want to do because 
you want to keep your partner alive, remember. I will play a planes and mm -hmm. not listen to a word you said. This man's is fully turning to bamboozle um, us. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> tap three and uh, my boyd for Captain Sisei. All right. Sisei in the hizzy, and I'm going to go ahead and just fairly swing to at Oko. At Oko? Yeah. But we're partners. But it's not you, your face, you're still alive, your okay. life is- And Oko's still alive yeah. too, because Oko's just Oko's down to three. Oko's still alive, it's just a little- Oko is okie doko. Yeah, <laughs> for now. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, big draws, let's get it. And okay, that's something. Land for turn is going to be island. I don't like playing this now, but I think I gotta keep digging. We're gonna tap three for a frantic search. Draw two cards, then choose and discard two cards to untap three lands. Frantically. Fr <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be where. <laughs> so we're gonna draw two. We're gonna dump, move, dumpies. Big dumpies. Uh, we gotta dump um, <laughs> an island and a plains, and then we untap one. You said island <laughs> and a plane. I, sure. <laughs> island and a plane. And, I um, mean, it's true, but I was like, island. that's not an island. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we untap three lands, which feels great. Love that for me. Two for a mind stone. It's cool. Be ramping. Yep. A lot big, of ramp. Big ramp. <laughs> a lot of ramp. Mm, it's a lot of ramp. And then we're going to get it out early while we can. One, two, three. And a Phyrexian life. For the synthesis oh. pod. Oh, no. I don't know about all that. <laughs> synthesis pod is a, a wacky card. It's a three and a Phyrexian, and then for one, it's an artifact, one and a Phyrexian. Tap it, exile a spell you control. Target opponent reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a card with mana value equal to one plus the exiled spell's mana value. Exile that card and that player shuffles. I may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. So it is a birthing pod for spells on the stack that plays stuff out of other people's libraries and it counts as a second cast trigger. It's Great. shenanigans shall ensue. <laughs> so hopefully this thing sticks around is really where we're at. Um, I, I have one question about that. <laughs> we're teams, right? <laughs> you swear? If, if we're teams, then I'm going to play your cards, oh, right? right. Mm. <laughs> mm. But Ron attacked me, so obviously Ron is not on my team. <laughs> Who so. knows? Maybe I'm just trying to distract. Sure, right. I mean, she didn't kill my Oko. When there's a synthesis pod, we're all on my team, all right? <laughs> no, I think it's the opposite of None of us, even, even if I were your partner, I'm not on your team with that crap. I will ship from there, big pass. Okay, I'm gonna untap my dork and my super cool 3-3 three, three with no abilities. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna draw for turn, that's not it. I'm going to play this forest as my land for turn and then uh, we're gonna start showing off the power of green. I'm gonna tap for a colorless and a green, I'm going to play a nature's lore, Don't which lets me search for a forest card, and it just Nothing. goes onto the battlefield, and then I shuffle. <laughs> I already know what I'm looking for. I just need to It's a forest it. card. Try it over? Yes. Yeah. Stomping Grow oh. yeah. is what we're looking for. I'm going to pay the two life so that it enters untapped. Shocking. Oh. Incredibly <laughs> shocking. And I will shuffle after I finish, because there's no other game actions that'll have me draw. Uh, I'm going to tap for green something and something that doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't need to shock it. And I'm gonna play Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia, who is a mana dork, taps her two of any combination of colors, but only for creature stuff. And then whenever I play something with power five or greater, she gets a one, one counter and I untap. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this, drive, this, this is just driving me absolutely crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The sleeves don't work if you don't use them according to the <laughs> manual. Thank you for that. Yeah, tip. you're uh, welcome. And then to, to repay you for that lovely advice, I'm gonna move to combat and I'm going to swing my Elko <laughs> at your Oko. Oh no! <gasps> for three. I really didn't I see that coming, honestly. I believe that's Onoko. Onoko! Oh, no no. <laughs> well, farewell to Oko. <laughs> And from there, I will pass the turn. Oko, Oko got banned in this game of Commander faster than he did when he was in Standard. Yeah. All right. Untap, upkeep, and draw for turn. Let's have a little bit of fun here. We're gonna play a Taiga. Alan, would you like to 
gain some life. It, not at the expense of my synthesis pod. Anything what? else, <laughs> anything else is great. <laughs> any, any, oh, 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 anything else is great. And just not at the expense of the synthesis pod. No problem. <laughs> we're going to do a white and two more, and I am going to give you an elephant. Uh, your synthesis pod, as you requested, as you requested, your synthesis pod has become a 3-3 elephant. No, I said not at the expense of the synthesis pod. Oh, you said pod. anything else, well, yeah, not gaining said, the life. Yeah, and you said anything but gaining life, and you haven't you gained life. You said anything but gaining the life, what? you did not gain no! the life. No! <laughs> Those were your words to the wish no. master, correct? Those were the That's words. That's not what I not... meant. And it's destroyed? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, I wanted to show off what the synthesis pod does. It does. No. Oh, what does it do? It's, you it's can an bring elephant. It, back it is destroyed, no, so it's in your graveyard. Oh, no. in here. You don't have graveyard no, recursion. No recursion. I'm gonna have to get it out of you guys. <laughs> and, and Ella, we are partners, I gave you a gift. No, this is the last thing I wanted to happen. Oh no. <laughs> Pass the turn. I will untap. As my land for turn and a Cathar's Crusade. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I put a 1 1 counter on each creature I control. Taps to say to search for a legend. Search for. <laughs> An Ajani. Uh, I will take Ajani Sleeper Agent. I will then pass the turn. I'm going to leave up a blocker. Oh, I'm like. I'm so tight right now. My whole brain is like, all right, how do I get Synthesis Pod back? And I don't <laughs> I don't have anything in here that can do it. Uh, untap, upkeep, big draws, let's go. So see, I and told you we were part. No, this is horrible. Um, land for turn, Morphic Pool. And we're gonna rip six for Saruman of the many colors. So I loved your video about how cool Ward is. Mm -hmm. um, he has <laughs> Ward, uh, and it's a great easy Ward cast. How cost much that's, Ward does it's, he have? Well, I love the Ward cost because it's synergistic with his second giant paragraph ability. Uh, <laughs> so it's Ward, discard an enchantment, instant, or sorcery. So easy, right? That's Those sure. are cards you have. Those are one of the eight mm -hmm. card types. Uh, is it eight? Are we on eight card types we're now? On, we're on nine card nine. types. Nine. Come on. <laughs> uh, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, me, whenever I cast my second spell each turn, each opponent mills two cards. When one or more cards is milled this way, exile, target, enchantment, instant, or sorcery card with equal or lesser mana value than that spell, that spell being my second spell. Uh, <laughs> exile, <What>? yep. <laughs> it's, it's worded so well. Wow. Um, <laughs> exile, target enchantment, instant, or sorcery card with equal or lesser mana value than that spell from an opponent's graveyard, copy the exiled card, I may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So my second spell mills everybody for two and then I can play something that costs less from a graveyard. All right. It's super simple, very, very easy to understand, not complicated in, in any way. Would you like to know what that card does, John? <laughs> I would like to unknow what that card does. <laughs> Super easy. It's about as easy to understand as the secret partners role. If I, if I could go, if I could go Zen, if I could go one day without learning that actions have consequences, I would be so so happy. I will. We got a uh, three three. We we Look got at that. I gave the, gave got, you a three three because we're partners. That artifact was gonna do you nothing. I gave no, you a three this three was, stompy. This was my everything. This was <laughs> my precious. <laughs> I'm like looking at it in the graveyard, crying. Uh, I will, I kinda wanna bonk. We got this bonky guy here. There's somebody who's wide open. Yeah. Why would you point that out to your partner? Alan, we're partners. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna push on the uh on the host here. Right. Three, three to the dome, Professor. I take three, get on to 37. All right, I'm going to untap my vast tracts of land and my elk, and, oh, perfect. I'm going to play a Path of Ancestry, which enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, at this point, teams, right? I mean, my my next play that I have in my head is a team-related play. Okay. So we'll see okay. what happens, but right now we're on 
We're on, like, possibly throw you some sort of benefit. Okay. Then I'm gonna move to combat. I'm not liking then this. I'm gonna move I'm, to combat. I'm gonna do like something these a, little, a little extremely. flirty, a little fun, and I'm going to swing my Elko at you. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> in, 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 the, in the hopes of a block? In the desperate, desperate yeah. hopes of a block, so that he can maybe go back to the command zone. Okay, and my my uh, plan was to generous gift it. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, but that that uh, removes that onus. So sure, you will declare well, him as a block. Well, did, are you gonna kill him? No. Surprise! What? What? Uh, the trumpet blast? <laughs> Surprise! Trumpet blast! Uh, I will block. I will okay. declare blocks. Great. That's where, Professor has the trumpet blast. Uh, that, yeah. that will all resolve on my end. You can have this lovely, lovely token back. There we go. Henzi will return to the command zone, and then in main phase two, I will pay two mana, and I will pay all the colors that make Henzi work, and Henzi's coming back out. Wait, I didn't know you were gonna do that. No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wait, that was the blitz? And now all my blitz, blitz costs are reduced by two, and I will pass the turn. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Very cool, very cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play a Marsh Flats, and I am going to go down to 36, and we're going to go searching for... Boy, it's just like I am in high school again. <laughs> just like old times. It is. I'll go ahead and get this swamp. It's called an underground sea. Mm. Get a triome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to play tap. What are you get doing? A, get a That's triome. only two colors. <laughs> Now, I may be an English major, but I have uh, five land cards in front of me, and I believe out of those five land cards, I have full Wooburg online. So my wish to go back in time to the 90s is about to be granted as I tap everything to bring in Garth One-Eye. We Garfin. We Garfin. <laughs> All right, as I pass the turn to Ron, I just need to say that I think I really messed up and may have made someone who is on my team think he's not on my team because I didn't realize that artifact was so important to your deck. He got it, so I'm not on your team. No, no. Okay, yep. No, Understood. I know I'm on your team. I'm just saying, don't believe. Oh, Me and really Mulder on the same yeah. team. I really screwed every. I, I just want to reiterate, at least on one of you team. needs to recognize you're on my team. <laughs> and I may not have realized that artifact was that important to you, Alan. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I didn't realize that artifact it's was okay. that important. We'll figure it out. All right. This guy's not on your team. No, he's, this is all <laughs> bluster. <laughs> all right. I'm passing the turn. All right. I will untap all the things. I will draw. I will play another planes. Search with Sisse first mm -hmm. before I do anything else. What are you getting? Uh, I'm gonna get cheater cards. A Johnny and his 18 balls of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> um, this time I think that sentence was a I wild that? ride. <laughs> 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 oh, it keeps going. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Where is it? I know it's in here. I am oh clearing God, the sensors by a hair yep. every day. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna get Garrick. Short hair. Because I need the lands to play all the Ajani that exist in this deck. So I'll shuffle. You didn't get an Ajani? I didn't, but I would like to play more Ajani, and Garrick will help me do that. Garrick, famously known for being a friend of Ajani. I, I guess they've even <laughs> met in the storyline. I don't think they've even met. They tweeted each other. Oh, did they? they? Sorry, they yeah, exited they each other. They're mutuals. They're mutes. Uh, do you think they? Do you think they'd get along? Do you think uh, Garrick? Absolutely Garrick not. Did, no, you don't think they'd get along. I think they would like chug some beers or something. Chug some beers. Yeah. All right, one, two, three, four. Um, and I'm going to cast Garrick Wild Speaker, and I'm going to plus one Garrick to untap two lands. I'll untap these two. Nice. And I will use my four remaining lands to cast Ajani Sleeper Agent. I hate this. 
Thanks. And <laughs> Ajani, it's, a, it's fine. Everything's fine. Ajani Sleeper Agent's plus one ability is to reveal the top card of my library. If it's a creature or planeswalker card, I put it into my hand. Otherwise, I may put it on the bottom of my library. So I will plus one Ajani. The top of my library is Lazel, and I will put it into my hand. We'll move to combat. At combat, I do control an Ajani planeswalker, so I will plus one my comrade. And I will move through combat and leave up a blocker. And I'll pass the turn. All right, my turn. I love turns. They're mm -hmm. my favorite part of this game by a long shot. Uh, untaps. Big draws. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to do land for turn. This is, it's all terrible. Um, <laughs> Just dump your mana rock. You rock card. You'll top deck it. I wish. I'm <laughs> you don't need that, I'm gonna, don't need that you mana. You know what? We're going to... Who needs all that? Yeah. We're gonna crack the stone. Oh my god, he fell for it. <laughs> and draw a card. Cracking mine stone. Oh, love that for me. <laughs> That's my I kind don't of love party. That for me. <laughs> um, big thinkies, as always. I took off the big thinkies shirt and left it upstairs. Um, really wish I had that mine stone. Um, <laughs> 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 but I wouldn't have had the card that I want to play without the Mind Stone, so we're okay. We're gonna ship. Pass. All right, let's get. A lot of I went through a whole Ooh. a whole thing here. A little I'm excited and nervous crazy. for the next turn. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna draw a card. It's not what I needed. Uh, I'm gonna play the Shadow Blood Ridge. It is a filter land. I am then going to blitz in for colorless. The sad robot, Solemn Simulacrum. Uh, I get to search my battlefield for a basic land, and it gets to go on the battlefield tap. Your battle, you're searching your battlefield for a basic land. It's right there. So true. I'm <laughs> searching my deck for a basic land. Oh, <laughs> that's a different than your battlefield. I swear I can read. <laughs> yeah, we'll prove it. No. <laughs> We'll take this mountain. It'll yeah. enter. Why are your cards like this? It's so amazing. Um, <laughs> it's uh -huh. This is insane. You gotta tap them all the way down. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll tap them. You gotta tap them down. Oh okay, God. everything on the field right. is good. Uh, and then I'm gonna shuffle. While I'm shuffling, we'll go ahead and move to combat, so though. Who wants to, I mean, who wants to be besties with me? <laughs> I'm, I'm we're super, partners. Oh okay, yeah. we're partners. What about I, made, I gave you draw cards. What happened that to is us? That's really true. What Overse happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> Did I, I mean nothing to you? <laughs> I am just horribly worried about what's happening on Ron's board. Do you agree? <gasps> yeah, I, 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 why, I, why not ooh, make ooh, me your bestie ooh, instead? I agree, I agree And then you don't have to worry about, about what's it. happening on Ron's okay, board. So, you so, can make me your bestie instead, and then you now. don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, since... Make friends with your enemies. Keep your enemies close. That's what I say. That is so you know, true. You and I could be something. Moving to combat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to swing the Solemn Simulacrum at a Johnny Sleeper Agent. Now, Solemn Simulacrum is only a 2-2. Two -two. Um, that's fine. I will okay. minus two a Johnny. Okay. Uh, and then in main phase two, I'm going to let, well, I'm going to move to my end step. Solemn Simulacrum is going to die, so I get the death trigger draw and a blitz draw. Why is he dying? Oh. Uh, because I blitz oh, okay. them, and so blitz makes you sacrifice them at the end step. And from there I have to pass, because I proceeded to my end step. Okay, I'm going to untap, upkeep, and draw. All right, I'm going to grant myself a wish, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and play a City of Brass for turn. And then I'm going to wish that I had a card that I loved more than any other card back in high school. And that's a Sheevan Dragon. Sheevan Dragon is an awesome card. It costs two red. Take a point of damage there from the City of Brass. And then four mana of any color. And I can see it before my eyes. My Sheevan Dragon. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't have haste, so I pass the turn. That's so many Unfortunate. Ads. How it's a, unfortunate? It's a 5-5. Five five. It's a 5-5 five five flying. A big boy. And I can <laughs> pump it for a single red to make it even bigger. How much red mana do you have oh, available? Not available, but... Uh, how much red? You want to know a cool thing make? about you want to well you want to know a cool thing about Black Lotus? Another card I wish I had. It makes any color. You want to know how much Black Lotus costs? <laughs> like five. Like a quarter million dollars. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to first play land for turn. It's another planes. Big shocks there. I'm going to tap Sisse to search my library for a legend, and this time I'm going to search for Reiki. 
Mm. Um, this guy again. Whenever I play a legendary spell, draw a card, and that will hopefully help me find other things in my deck that I like. I'm so glad we're on the team because I would be. You know that I allowed that. That was fine, and then I, I just a little too damn. Expect damaged. that gotta, from now on. We gotta throw them off the trail. We're we going them... to be. You know, don't let them know. But yeah, you know, we're gonna be special partner friends. Keep in mind, I might not even know who my partner is. <laughs> Oh, now you don't know. <laughs> I thought he was, uh, he. Okay, I'm going to play Reiki, which will put a 1-1 counter on all of my creatures. Does he see himself? Does he put a counter on himself? Yes, okay. things that enter the battlefield, yeah. Okay. See then I'm going to tap three and cast Lazel. I'm going to respond. We're gonna do stuff. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna do all sorts of stuff here. We're gonna tap one, and I'm going to path to exile Reiki. Okay. You should have asked Ron if she wanted to uh, get a land. Oh, because of the- said, Ron, would you like Would you like land? a land to do the, the- And we're also going to tap two in, and this is before the draw trigger, right. we're going to play a Fairy Masterminds. Okay. Whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, I draw a card. Before any of that, Soromon is gonna trigger. I okay. cast my second spell each this turn. Each opponent, mill two cards. Vorinclex, Lenore Alps. Arcane Signet, and Rise of the Witch King. I mill a Eldritch Pact. And a captive audience. <laughs> Dang. So I have fully whiffed on the Soromon triggers. They're the only uh, instant sorcery or enchantment in any graveyard, two CMC or less, is the uh, Arcane Denial, and I'm not going to cast it. I Arcane have a denial. nature's lore further I, up in my... I, oh, right. I have yeah, no forest. Have forest. <laughs> <laughs> and now the draw triggers happen. Okay, so... A few things are gonna happen. I'm gonna draw off of Reiki, add uh, the counter triggers. It's Cathar's Crusade will add a 1-1 counter to every creature I control. I actually forgot to put the counter on the Bird of Paradise. because Because I added 1-1 counters to everything off of the Cathars, Lazel will add those counters plus one. So everything will get an additional counter from her. Okay, and I will find a basic from the path. Yep. I will, oh, there, that's what I wanted anyway, a forest. I'm going to plus one Garrick to untap two lands. I will untap a forest and a plains, which will add two counters to Garrick uh, off of Lazel. And I will plus one Ajani, which will add two counters to him. And I will reveal the top card of my library. Uh, it is not a creature or planeswalker, so I may put it on the bottom of my library and I think I'm going to, so. I will put it on the bottom. And then I will move to combat because I control an Ajani Planeswalker. Ajani's comrade will get a plus one counter, which will give it two off of Lazel. Uh, I think I'm gonna swing at Alan for <laughs> that, for the path, for the yep. crimes committed. It's going to be an eight eight with trample. Wow. Nice, solid. We're gonna push the elephant in front of it. Okay, it has trample. Yep. I'll take five. Yep. Five, five better than eight. And I will pass the turn. Ooh, thinking about it, <laughs> the Lazelle would have been a better target for the path. <laughs> also because that second draw each turn would keep drawing me cards yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, without even thinking about Lazelle being powerful, yeah. but I don't think I would have been able to draw the card that turn. If There's always a that. swords. Who's, you this one's know. yours? Who's is this one? This is mine. See, it's got the emblem on it. Yeah, right it's there. It, yeah. I kind of think that's why I guessed. Uh, much, much like a cat, I mark my territory. Uh -huh. <laughs> Watch, take a hand washing break. Uh, untaps, upkeep, big draws, love it. We're going to play an island as land for turn. I'm going to tap three for an insight. Whenever, it, now this card, the text has been up, oracle texted, updated. Whenever target opponent successfully casts a green spell, draw a card, but it's been changed to whenever an, an opponent 
successfully cast a green spell draw a card. It seems kind of like an unbelievable change, yeah. but it is. That's quite a change. It's it's a very significant Ironically, change. Ironically, that would be, so that would be really good in Secret Partners in that you would guess who your partner is and then get it off of their, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got four mana left, which I love. This one we tapped for colorless. We're gonna rip another four and play my second spell this turn, we've got a Vidalcan Ori. Oh gosh. <sighs> Seems fine. Deep breath. It's, it's fine, it's cool. Uh, Soramon trigger. Everybody mill the top two cards of your library. Uh, Nesting Grounds and Oath of Ajani. Nice, that's an enchantment. It is indeed. I got Kethek Crucible Goliath, who's a creature, <laughs> and Doomscar Warrior, who is a creature, but. Creatures, man. But I have Rise of the Witch King. I've got a Skullwinder and a Humble Defector. I, wow, that was, those were some some hits there. I'm going to, with Soromon, I'm going to exile the Generous Gift. Mm-hmm. And we're going to turn, it's gonna be you again, I'm sorry, Ron. Uh, <laughs> I can tell who's not my partner. <laughs> uh, what do you? What do you hate? What do you guys, I, it's it's the, either <laughs> the Cathar's Crusade all. or the the Get the creature, I'll take care of the Cathar's Crusade. Wow. Yeah. I guess we know who's the partners. Um, I mean, see? he's been trying to tell me he's my partner, but I don't know what to believe these <laughs> days. Um, Get the creature, huh? Okay, we're gonna hit Lysel. And does this count as a creature entering the battlefield? Oh, it sure does. Yep. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! Oh, oh. Well, I've fallen right into your trap. Gix. My coffee. <laughs> At least it's only one, one, one counter and not two now. It's oh, fine, yeah. everything's fine. Yeah, you really unhot her dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> unhot her dog. <laughs> Is that what the kids are saying now? <laughs> now. <laughs> After now. this, yes. <laughs> Trendsetter. Indeed. Uh, I will, uh, so I'm tapped out, yep. one card in hand. Yep. On your end step. No, what? <laughs> uh, but you are gonna get something for it. Ooh. I'm going to cast Riveteer's Charm. It's multimodal. I'm going to pick, exile the top three cards of my library until the next end step, I can play those cards. So I'll put this at the top. Oh. It is Evolutionary Leap. It is a land, and it is another land. But since I successfully cast a green spell, oh. you get to draw a card, because it's all three colors. I thought you meant I'm gonna get something like, now I have another Sauron target. No. Soruman target, but yes, I draw a card off of Insight. Great. Sweet, love it. And then we can proceed to my untap, upkeep, and draw step. Sauron's the bad guy. Soruman is also, also the bad, the bad guy. guy. <laughs> oh. Depends on what color. Okay, uh, land for turn, I'm going to play Smoldering Marsh from Exile. Then I am going to begin committing crimes. I'm going to begin. <laughs> I'm going to tap for three. I'm going to play Riveteer's Ascendancy. Super fun enchantment. Whenever I sacrifice a creature, I return a target creature card with less mana value than the sacrifice thing. I won't do that a lot. That is a green card. Insight trigger. You do get a insight trigger. Uh, I'm going to tap for two black, and then one, two, three to blitz in the ancient brass dragon. Yes. Oh, six yes. fire. Uh, and whenever he makes punch, I get to roll a d20 and return that much mana worth of creatures from graveyards, not even mine. And so I'm gonna nice. move to combat now and I'm going to swing the ancient brass dragon at you, Alan. Yes. See, so, he's not your partner. I. I feel like I not. just didn't know the synthesis six? mod was seven six. The oh. damage is meaningless. It's really that that fat fat D twenty. That I <laughs> it's not meaningless to me, but we're gonna take it. Uh, <laughs> my go to twenty three. Okay. Do we have a real D twenty? Yeah, I need a real D twenty. Need a real one. We ain't rolling no. Speed yeah, we've now. covered previously. We've how covered I'm previously. A cheater, cheater. Here you see your D twenty. All right. Thing is, I know how to roll twenties. Like, man, <laughs> that's an eight. Not I thought it was 20. a one from here. I was like, oh no. Okay, so the things I'm going to return are uh, Kethic Crucible Goliath, who lets me sacrifice things. You get to return eight things. cards? Eight mana worth. Eight okay, mana all right, I was gonna cards. say. Eight mana worth of creatures. Um, <gasps> I've got a three it, mana it, creature right here. If you get that Skullwinder, you can give me the Synthesis Pod. If you get that Skullwinder, <laughs> I, I could get so my Synthesis true, Pod. That is true, Vesti. <laughs> I'm going to 
I'm going to choose the Skullwinder. Oh. So it will move <laughs> to my battlefield. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return target card from graveyard to hand. I'm going to return Rise of the Witch King. See, he's not your partner. Well, and then choose an opponent, and I'm going to choose Alan. Oh, let's and you can go! Card here, yeah. Synthesis bomb. Uh, and then I swear it only gets worse from here. In main phase two, I'm going to tap the Smoldering Marsh to play Undying Malice, what? which is an instant targeting Ancient Brass Dragon. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield, tapped under its owner's control with a 1-1 one, one counter. From there, I will sure. move to end step. The blitz will trigger, so will Kethic. I can sacrifice another creature, and if I do, reveal cards from the top until I hit another creature that costs less, which I'm going to choose that one. So, Ancient Brass Dragon has been sacrificed. More triggers are gonna go on the stack. Riveteer's Ascendancy <laughs> and Undying Malice. With Riveteer's Ascendancy, I am bringing back the Doomscar Warrior. Uh, Undying Malice, the Ancient Brass Dragon is coming right back. Yay! With a 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, so can I use one? Bigger and better than ever. Yeah. And off of the Blitz trigger, I will draw a card. That's the second draw you've had this turn, so I will draw a card off of the Fairy Mastermind. When Doomscar Warrior enters the battlefield, this creature has backup, so I get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on something. I'm going to put it on Henzi, so he becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, he also gained Doomscar Warrior's abilities, but that won't matter because I don't have a chance to use them. And then the Kethic trigger will happen, so now we're revealing from the top until I hit something that costs less than seven. That costs less than seven. It is a, uh, <laughs> sorry, until I hit a non-legendary creature. That but is it, a non-legendary, oh, it's not a creature, yeah. damn. <laughs> it would be fair, but if it was fair, it wouldn't be green. <laughs> so we're gonna hit another land, we're gonna hit a rampant growth, we're gonna hit, a, oh, my whip. Quit. We're gonna hit another cheater enchantment, another land, and a birds of nice. paradise, right. which is non-legendary. <laughs> say you wished for fair, you got it. I Could've wished been worse. for fair, <laughs> I got I fair. The rest I'll go on the sweat. bottom of my library in a random order, so I'll mix them up, and then that is mercifully the end of my turn. <laughs> so these cards will stay in exile oh forever. Oh my goodness. That was a wild turn. You don't have to be in blue to play blue, everyone. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and untap. Upkeep draw. So, first things first. Ron, we are partners. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you wish you had a little bit more life with them ganging up on you? No. Yes. I think I'm fine. I think everything is fine. I think, I heard yes. I'm all right here. here I, all set. I heard yes, because I'm gonna tap a green and we are going to nature's claim that Cathar's Crusade. Oof. You gained four life because you wished for life is what I heard. I did not, actually. <laughs> um, Insight trigger. And will, I'm giving my draw partner a, what, a draw. What happens here, it just, it's, it's graveyard? It's, what happens, you tear it up into <laughs> little pieces. Graveyard or exile, graveyard. Uh, it is in the graveyard, okay. yes. And you gained four life. All right. Do you feel that Ron has been uh, neutralized? Yes. neutralized? I'm less concerned. I don't know why John gave you the synthesis pod, because I, I, I didn't, <laughs> but uh, yeah. What, is the dragon the problem on John's board, probably? Or yeah. Henzi? Yes. Okay. No, no, it's the dragon. All right, all right, it's the dragon. Where's these real no, 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 wait, 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 wait. There are wait, multiple wait. problems on John's board. Everything's a problem. Do you wish that you had that dragon? Say the words. Uh. Say, I wish I had that dragon under <laughs> my control. I, I'm, I am your partner and I will grant your wish. <laughs> I say it. Is that another wish? Not, not really. <laughs> Why do you not it's want cool. the dragon it's under your cool. control? Does you don't, does you don't like my dragon? dragon? Yes, it is all graveyard. graveyard. I mean, I wish I had that dragon. Oh, I heard another <laughs> wish. I heard another wish we're gonna do. <laughs> I wish I had that dragon under my control. Very well, <laughs> no, that no, is your no, wish? No, not the dragon. No, not the Because I can make dragon. that one happen instead. No, 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 no. I can make that one happen no, no, no. instead because I'm playing a role reversal, exchange control of two target permanents. No. That share a permanent type. So, this is bad. so, but you can just trade your fairy mastermind for the dragon. The fair, oh, oh, I'm so boom. down for that. The Deal, fairy mastermind? Right? Or I could trade your commander for it. No, not the commander. Okay, <laughs> fairy mastermind and dragon trade places. Okay, solid. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. And, and you I now have control of that. And your wish. Would have been really great if there was a Reiki out here. A tapped eight, seven ancient out. brass dragon. Yes. Sure. Your wish is granted. I feel like I was kind of coerced into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which uh, should I kill a Johnny or Why? Derek? 
Why? I'm gonna leave this one up to you. This one up. <laughs> John, what do you think I should kill? Johnny or Garrick? Mono green can't be trusted. Mono green can't be this trusted. Is white. It's got white. Right, in but it. Garrick, so is, Garrick mono is mono green. Yeah. I'm going to move to declare attackers. I'm gonna pump up my Sheevan Dragon one red, mm -hmm. making it a 6-6, six, six, and I'm swinging all six at Garrick Wildspeaker. In response. I uh -oh. will tap a plane. No. And I will cast Holy Day and prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Holy Tezzeret. <laughs> That's crazy about you. Does it resolve? Oh yeah, it, I mean, no, <laughs> but yes, but also okay. yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's white fog. fog. It's, it's white, white fog. fog. <laughs> it's mist. <laughs> it's mist. All right, fine. I'm gonna tap Garth one eye and I wish for a black lotus. I cast a black lotus. Ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's quite fair magic. It's fine. <laughs> Pass the turn. I will untap, I will draw for turn, play a wooded bastion as my land for turn. I am going to tap Sasei to search for a legend. Ron, Ron, we have eliminated so much stuff of Ron's board presence, and she's still doing crazy crap. It's fine. Every it's not it's not that bad, right? Everything's fine. What is your life total at? Forty-four. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. wait a minute. That's only twenty-two. It's oh, literally twice as much. <laughs> I didn't realize we were cheating at magic and at math. That's not that's not appropriate. <laughs> Adeline. <laughs> Adeline. <laughs> Her power is equal to the number of creatures I control, and whenever I attack for each opponent, I create a 1-1 one, one human creature that's tapped in attacking that player or planeswalker. So because I have three opponents, it will create three 1-1s. One, so this will go to my hand. Tap three to cast her. Four to cast Parallel Lives. Oh! Which will, if I make one or more tokens, I put twice that many. I'm gonna get an insight trigger and draw a card off your uh, Parallel Lives. Sure thing. Let's go. I will plus one Garrick to untap two lands. Um, I guess I'll untap these two. I will plus one Ajani to reveal the top card of my library. It's a Plains, I don't really need it right now, so I will just put it to the bottom of my library. You don't feel you need some more mana there? You, you're feeling, to, you don't, don't feel like that's a little tight, your I mana? I don't really need it. I think it's okay right now, you know? Everything's fine. Move to combat, and because I control an Ajani Planeswalker, I will plus one my comrade. And so I'm gonna swing it over here. Uh, that will trigger Adeline. Uh, even though she herself has the summy tummies, her, uh, it's whenever I attack, I will put uh, a 1-1 one, one white human onto the battlefield that's tapped and attacking for each opponent, but because of parallel lives, I will double that. So I will have two of each. 10 will from the comrade will go at you, Prof, and then I will swing one of each, uh, two of each of my humans at all of my opponents. This is unacceptable. I will take one and blo uh, block one. I am going to block one with Henzi and block another with Kethic Crucible Goliath. Both are four fours. Okay. I take 12 damage. <laughs> I go down to 23. You are not my partner, Correct, and I will <laughs> knock you out of this game like you wouldn't believe, lady. <laughs> I believe all that. You've got to be kidding turn. me. Let's go. What did Alan. I even do to you besides the things I did to a you? A lot of things yeah, a lot this of thing. game. <laughs> Alan gets a turn. Let's go. Big draws. Okay, all right. That's a, something. We're on something here. Um, we're on something. <laughs> we're on something for sure. Land for turn is islands. We've got a whole pile of islands now. Two blue for uh, more rocks. We got a talisman of dominance. Three and pay one Phyrexian life. You know it, you love it. We finally got it back. We got there. <laughs> Thanks to Skullwinder, notable powerhouse Skullwinder. Thanks to my Skullwinder. So in yes, a way, thank, I gave yeah. it back to you. Fair, fair, fair. This will trigger Soru Man. Uh, everybody mill two, and let's look for a card. Ajani, Strength of the Pride, and three visits. Ooh. For me, you get the Doors of Duran and a Forest. Okay. Yeah. You may have a Clackbridge Troll, though not really, or a Kadama's Reach. Okay, Reach, okay. I, it's unfortunately it hits right now. Um, can I see no R Riveteer's charm? Yes. 
Don't make that face. Just leave it. It's not a good card. It's a bad card. It's a bad card. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. We're going to hit the Kadama's Reach. All right. So we'll exile that, and I will cast a copy of it. My gift to you, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to go look for two basics. I have a lot of islands, as stated. I'm gonna go get a swamp and a plane. So those are, one's going to play, one's going to hand. I will, we'll put the swamp into play tapped. We'll grip the planes. That's a, a famous uh, spell, right? Grip the planes? Grip the planes. We'll move to punchies. Love it. That's the plan. I think that's where we're at right now. Uh, <laughs> it is, uh, this is this is the plan. Everybody's yeah. ready to I gave, I gave it to you. Don't hit me with it. I'm this. going to swing the ancient blast, ancient blast dragon. Blast. The, the ancient so blast dragon. Blast. Blast. <laughs> hey. The ancient blast dragon is coming at you. Uh, we've got eight in the air. Um, I'll block with a bird. Damn it. <laughs> you gotta be. That's why I left it up. <laughs> you gotta remember, oh. birds work for the feds. They're always oh. against you. I really, I really wanted that blast that dragon blade. trigger. Damn it! Damn it! I wanted recursion. I kept it up for a reason. <laughs> um, oh, I think then we turn the whole game into toilet water. Get ready. It's four mana. Colorless, colorless, colorless. It's an unwinding clock. We'll oh, put it right in the middle. Oh unwinding clock. Thankfully, I'm on minimal artifacts right now. We've only got the two talismans mm -hmm. right now. So it's not, we're not on like full evil wizard cackling, ruining everybody's <laughs> turn mode yet, but we will attempt to get there. I love that you go e evil wizard cackling. I go um, mustache twirling, oh, tie you to the train Snidely whiplash, the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> but, but we have to stay on flavor. We're not. Right. Yeah. That's true. My balloon of choice doesn't work here. Maybe, uh, oh, I can never remember the actor's name. The prestigious uh, Sir, Sir Christopher Sir Lee. Christopher <laughs> Lee. I can never remember it. How could he? He may have, I would, I would not, not have your partner. put it past him to have worn a top hat at some point, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, but we're on evil wizard, okay. evil wizard mode. Um, gotcha. With all that done, I will pass the turn and uh, move to our artifact on untap stuff. Great, and now with everyone's permission, I'm going to begin cheating at magic. Woo! Me too. I untap my I two talismans. I will untap everything. <laughs> Proud of you. I will draw a card. <laughs> I'm going to play the Sulphurous Spring as my land for turn, and then for the price of two green from Gwena, two colorless, and two discounted from Henzi, I'm going to blitz in the Green Warden of Marassa. Since this enters with five power, Gwena will trigger, untap, and get a counter. When it enters, I get to return a target card from my graveyard to my hand. I am picking the Riveteer's Charm that you were so kind <laughs> as to not. leave for me <laughs> previously. There. I'm going to get an Insight Trigger because that's a green spell. I will draw a card. Very true. Rip it. Then I'm going to tap these three <laughs> to play Riveteer's Charm. While that's on the stack, I think you get, it's once again a green spell. Yep, so, we've uh, got another Insight Trigger and that gives me <laughs> a very Mastermind Trigger. Aww, Isn't look magic that. fun? Look at that now, teamwork. for Riveteer's Charm, I I'm going you. to say target opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker they control with the highest mana value, and I'm going to pick my buddy, my friend, Alan. Ugh, hate this for me. Uh, that will definitely be the Ancient Brass Dragon. Almost certainly. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Almost certainly. Uh, so I will go ahead and take my boy back to the graveyard. Riveteer's Charm will resolve. <laughs> going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Oh, I'm God. going to tap one. Skull clamp. Oh. I'm going to move to combat. Yeah. I'm going to declare the Green Warden of Marassa attacking at Alan. Damn it! So this is a 5-4, <laughs> which will become a 6-5 because of Exalted. So 6-5 damage coming at you. 6-5, no tramps, none of that fun no, stuff. No tramps. I want to live. Um, I may not, honestly. Uh, <laughs> hate this for me. We're going to tap two, okay. and I'm going to Vidalcan Ori in a Stormscape Familiar, Ooh. and 
verily shove this bird in front of the green warden. <laughs> accepted, <laughs> accepted. I absolutely throw this under the uh, elemental. Okay, so then your bird presumably will die because you have no more yes. funny business. Yes, it will. Uh, in main <laughs> phase, <laughs> it, 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 to in that guy. main phase two, I'm gonna tap a mountain to equip my skull clamp to the green warden of Marasa. So if he gets put into a graveyard, I draw two cards. Unacceptable. Then I'm going to tap three more mana for the sorcery Victimize. I choose two target creature cards in my graveyard. I'm picking the Brass Dragon and the Lizard Boy you so lovingly countered. Then I sacrifice a creature, and if I do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tapped. Can you guess who I'm sacrificing? It's our friend, the Green Warden. Wow, who saw that So the coming? Henzy Blitz trigger will happen. The Riveteer's Ascendancy trigger will happen. The Skull Clamp trigger will happen. Uh, so I will first resolve Skull Clamp, drawing Masterful two. play, bestie. I will resolve Blitz, drawing one. I will resolve Riveteer's Ascendancy, returning uh, the Sad Robot to the battlefield tapped. I'll clean up my board state a little bit here. So I will go searching for a basic land, but I'm all done drawing, and so I'm just gonna finish returning creatures to my graveyard. And then, because I've satisfied Victimize, I'll return the Ancient Brass Dragon tapped and the Zyator's Envoy tapped, and boy howdy, am I running out of room. And at that point, the turn can end. And oh, I'll, can it? And I will, and uh, well, actually Ooh. we'll proceed to end step, and I can sacrifice another creature if I want for Kethic. I won't do that. I will mercifully pass to the front. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw it out there. here. Uh, one of my favorite things about instants and sorceries, they're not permanents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and untap. Upkeep and draw. Mm, mm. Oh, untap. Oh yes, I'm winding <laughs> the triggers, of course. Partner, <laughs> which of these two opponents do you wish had a ticking time bomb on their head? On their head? Yeah. Oh man, it's so tough because I actually don't, I still don't know who the, the partners are. I'm at this point. But I'm uh, giving you the wish. Giving me I'm the giving wish? I'm giving you the wish because, sure. yes. Who do you wish at this board had only a few turns left to live? Make the wish. I think it's you. Wouldn't it be I hate funny to say if you it. chose him? Yeah, you're real good. I, <laughs> I'm more you. scared. I'm this. This. I don't know which one. I, this represents more permanence. I think currently. Yeah. And you've got the dragon back, <clears> which, <throat> which I pointed out as a problem before. Even though you so kindly gave me my pod back. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Garth and wish for a regrowth to bring any card from my graveyard to my hand. There's green and another. Uh, and I'm- in, in Yes, trigger, and I give you a trigger. draw. Yeah, 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 See, yeah. I'm also giving you a draw, but <laughs> more importantly, I'm returning the captive audience. Yikes. <laughs> so you wished mauled? I mean, I I, I feel very coerced here. I'm very, yes. I've very much been- uh, <laughs> Black and a red. I feel taken advantage of. <laughs> Black and a red. Some might say he's not actually your partner. <laughs> I am literally black and a red. <laughs> I lose a life from the city of Brass. I sacrifice my Black Lotus. Does the Black Lotus actually go to my graveyard? No, it just disappears. It disappeared. And I'm going to cast upon the mauled hound himself a captive audience. It is an enchantment. It enters the battlefield under the control of Maldhound. At the beginning of Maldhound's upkeep, Maldhound will choose one. Maldhound's life total can become four. Maldhound may <laughs> discard Maldhound's hand. Or each opponent of Maldhound's creates five, count them five, two two black zombie creature tokens to swing at Maldhound. That last part I've added. But those are your little choices, Maldy old buddy old pal. So cool of you, bestie. Yes. I feel like swinging, do you have any air defenders, Ron? Not. You got nothing in the air? You got nothing in the air? I do not. You have nothing in the air? Sheevan Dragon, a 5-5 five five is swinging at a Johnny Sleeper Agent. In response. Yeah. Doing this for you, partner. I'm gonna path to exile it. What? Yeah. <laughs> you should have asked me if I want to land. Sword. Let's go teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, murdered. Path to exile, I go get a I could have path to exiled Garth and prevented you from doing all this shenanigans. All right. But well, instead, I see, just she's path not your partner. the dragon. Basics of planes, fitting for the path. Pass the turn. I will, end of turn two, I'm going to ordery in a talisman of progress. We're on triple talismans now. Okay. 
I will untap. I will draw for turn. I'm gonna tap Sisei to search for a legend <laughs> before I play my land for a turn, just in case I want a legendary land. Ron, are you sure this is a really out of nowhere play for the deck? You're breaking. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Every turn with this Sisei. You know, you gotta, you really just gotta make use of her, honestly. Dude. We definitely need to get the hot dog wizard. I'm very <laughs> uncomfortable with I'm, what's happening over it's there. It's cool. Sar Saruman is canonically a totally harmless and non-meddling. Sure, yeah. No machinations whatsoever. Not one scheme. <laughs> to be a Johnny collar of the pride. Too many Ajani's. Just. <laughs> That's not a green all one. All the Ajani's. It's not <laughs> a green one. Oops, all Ajani's. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna go to hand. I didn't play a land for turn, so I'll play a core haven as my land for turn. Tap three for, oh, shocker, a Johnny, color of the pride, plus one Garrick to untap two lands. Three, this is Johnny to give Adeline flying and double strike. So end of turn. you. <laughs> Oh. And I'm going to first move to combat. When I move to combat, I'm going to a uh, plus one Ajani's comrade. Okay. But we gotta get the hot dog wizard. We can't allow. I'm chilling. I'm just keep in mind, I, I feel like Ron is about to kill me, which by the way, Ron, if I'm your partner, you have just lost the game for yourself. I just wanna put it <laughs> out there. That is yeah. If you kill your do partner, you, you lose okay. the game. Ron, do you trust <clears throat> me? I do. If I believe I do. If you kill him I'm, and we're partners, okay, what's, I can kill him. What's I'm, your blocking I'm situation? I'm chilling. My blocking situation yeah. is I have a Soromon, okay. Flash, and Freeman. He's got a lone hot dog wizard. I'm chilling. He's and his cool. food truck. All right, and that's all go. he's got. Don't, what don't we're swing do. at me. I'm... If you kill your partner, you do lose. Adeline is going, when I attack, I'm going to attack with the comrade and Adeline. Um, so that will create six more humans um, that are uh, attacking. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So Adeline will be a 12 for flying double strike. I'm gonna swing Adeline at Alan and I'm going to swing the comrade and these three humans at Prof. And then these remaining six human will just be two, two, two. I'm super duper dead. I, I, how much damage is coming at me? Did the so 16. eleven sixteen. Oh, 16, I live. Yeah, 16. I live. Yeah. So you're killing, you you're Rip. killing Alan. Correct. All right. No, no responses. No, no, I got, I got two, three drops and none of them protect from a flying double striker Adel apparently. Adel I'm going to plus one this is Johnny to reveal the top card of my library. I will put it into my hand. And I would like to save my bestie and post combat two, one, two, three, four, five. Urza's Ruinous Blast and exile all non-land permanents that aren't legendary. That would exile that enchantment, correct? Exile almost everything I have, but yes. Well, but you have a lot of legendaries. Untrue, <laughs> but sure, yeah. But you, um, you live, you go, yeah, you yeah, go down, you, me, you yeah. get rid of that enchantment. I'll lose my humans as you well. You have said and... you have said true statements. Okay. <laughs> so this will go back to you, and then I will. This is exiled though. Yes. Okay. So this will go. My humans will go. My elephant will go. It stings. the the post The post death board wipe stings so bad, Ron. <laughs> I had to save them. I had it's, to save them. I'm it, sorry. It, it but if we're partners, it, it if we're partners, it didn't matter because I can just kill him. Could you? Well, you could anyway, right? Yeah, Wouldn't I can you? still. I can still yeah. yeah. So well, just, now, okay, but. But I didn't Mal want you to, I didn't want, Maldi. I don't know if yeah. he's got Maldi. like something yeah. in hand or I don't know. If tricks. we're partners uh -huh. and you you have, that means you. she just killed her partner because she didn't know. Alan must have had on his card that Ron was his partner. On his Alan's <laughs> card, it must have said <laughs> must Ron is his have. partner. Must have, must unless, have. unless you have a card that says Ron is your partner, <laughs> in which case I'm dead. <laughs> but if your card, as I'm praying to God it says, has a question mark on it, you gotta kill her. And we're partners. I haven't done anything to you this game. I'm letting How you draw cards. How does he know that I don't have a card with certainty who my partner is? We're probably, 
Oh, just take your. <laughs> right. so you, are you? You're putting all your eggs into the basket that I'm. I'm your enemy. You just got to do six damage. I, six damage is I all would, that's necessary. Uh, I think he's. Yeah. I think it's in your best interest to leave words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap. I will upkeep. I will draw. Um, that's dope. I will. Okay. I am. I am going to believe in the power of friendship, but not bet my life on the power of friendship. Okay. I am going to. Two red, once again, two colorless, and two discounted from Henzi to blitz in Atali Primal Storm, everybody's favorite communist dinosaur. You know her, you love her. Oh, Gwenna will untap because Atali okay. is super but beefy, and, they, and she will get another 1 1 counter. And then I will move to combat. I'm going to declare Atali. So Atali will be going at the professor, Henzi will be going at the Ajani with one loyalty counter. A 5-6 Gwenna will be going at a Johnny Sleeper Agent, and the 4-4 four, four Kethic will be going at Garuk. And then the Atali attack trigger will happen. We each exile the top card of our libraries, and I get to cast any spells that we find. Okay, the top card is a reflecting pool. My top card is Sylvan Offering. Okay, well, since I need to pick X equals zero. Yeah, that doesn't this, matter. Doesn't so I'll exile much. my top. It is a land, and so nothing happens from Atali, and then we can move to any blockers or responses. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. If this card, Ron, Maldhound, if you have killed one of your partners, you lose. You are not supposed to kill your partner, and therefore you actually lose. Let's see. <laughs> you two did nasty. Well, oh, yeah. 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 what happened? Yeah. I, Why I didn't did, you say something? I, I didn't oh. think. I didn't think the uh, synthesis thing was that. Good. It was like, and I was thing. trying. I was like going to throw them off the trail, and uh, then I realized I threw you off the trail. Uh, I had no clue what to believe, and Bring I was top. the whole time no clue. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank good, good you. Games. Good games. Good games. Good games. The whole time. Uh, nice job. I knew. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm him. sorry we didn't get there, partner. I'm sorry. Good I, games. I okay. also gave you back your synthesis pod as a dupe. <laughs> it was a, great. Yeah. It was huge. Yeah. Did you, okay, honestly, did you think like, he was no. your partner? Because you didn't know. Did the you first, think he was your partner? So the first three turns, I thought you were. Yeah. Because, because frankly, Zyator's Envoy is an unhinged spell to counter. And so I was like, <laughs> okay, he's giving me the two cards because he's my partner. And then after that, I slowly came around to... I mean, you two were, I knew he didn't know a thing. I knew, I knew that there wasn't a thought. I saw him tapping and I saw him twiddling his artifacts. I knew there wasn't a thought behind his eyes. Uh, but then towards the end of the game, you were a little too friendly to him. And so I figured it had to be the two of us. Yeah. At the beginning, I thought you didn't, you had a question mark. I was yeah. like, yeah, you're just figuring it out. Cause you did remove like, it was Henzi and then this, and you, you did some stuff to, yeah. to everybody, and I was like, he just, he's got a question mark, he doesn't know. It was about, by I think the third time, you looked me dead in the <laughs> eyes and said, I am your partner. I was like, he might actually be my partner. <laughs> Good game, everyone, good game. Thank you. I can't believe this guy just, right away, it, first things first, blow up the synthesis pot. I was crying, and of course, I spent the whole game whinging over it. Ah, the thing I wanted. I spent mana for that, no! I did not realize Synthesis Pod was apparently such a big card. I knew it had a lot of text on it, which is why I wanted to counter it. My idea was to keep people early game guessing who was my partner so that I could subtly help my partner over the course of the game, but apparently I became the arch enemy. It took three turns of him looking me dead in the eye, saying I am actually your partner. I had to bring Alan by the nose over to the realization that he and I were partners by overtly doing things against Ron and Maldhound, which just, I gave it all away. I gave it all away because the guy was just so wrapped up on that synthesis pod. I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant about this format at first. If I wanted to be thrust into a world of nebulous alliances and vague threats, I would have just gone to my high school reunion. At first, I thought for sure Prof had a question mark and that Alan knew who his partner was, but after turns four, three or four, you could tell that that wasn't the case at all. And I was like, okay, Prof knows and Alan doesn't. 
And if we're being really honest, I bet everything on Ron being my partner because what was I gonna do if I was wrong? She was playing Planeswalkers. All of their cards read cheat a little, cheat a middle, cheat a lot. What was I gonna, Planes run? There's, there's no topping it. So I had to, I had to go against the prof and hope. Next time, it's the Lost episode of Shuffle Up and Play, an episode we thought we could never air because it's got so many, many misplays. But we sat down with our judges and marked every misplay we could, and now it's time for you to watch along and see if you can catch them before we do. Are you ready to shuffle up and misplay? Glad we caught that. Yeah. It is a good combo, yeah. Why would you do that to me? Well, you're out of mana, though. <laughs> so Celeste's trigger went? That's what you're doing. Oh. Urza. Essentially, if you weren't following what just happened, this is still in my head. How could you not be following <laughs> what was yeah. happening? This is the point where the Magic Online client crashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this blows up. Uh, <laughs>